thinking all the time about yourself apply this simple tool it is so simple that particular period job did not he did not he didn't he did not look for a prophet he just interceded there's power in intercession you need to intercede for your brethren is there any who is going through any diverse diverse situation that you know if you are single and you want to get married look for someone who is in your situation Turn your attention to that person. Start praying for that person. Start committing that person into the hands of God. And watch what God will do for you. Do it from the depth of your heart and with understanding. It is your understanding that determines the outcome of what you desire. You need to understand what you are doing so as to be expectant of a reward afterward. Job prayed. Job interceded. The man Abraham, he interceded for Lord. He interceded for Sodom. And when he went back and sat in front of his tent, he saw three wise men coming. It was after when he had interceded. Then God brought, God made it to come to pass the promise that he has had for him. The promise was still there, waiting for just that act. When he had interceded, he sat in front of his tent and he saw three wise men coming. He saw them and he ran to them and said, Come. And they came. He fed them. And when they were leaving, they made a statement saying, This same time next year, your wife will conceive. You will have a baby boy. You will laugh. You will celebrate simply because Abraham interceded. This is one of the key things that is missing in our Christian life. We pray about ourselves so much. We value ourselves so much. Our needs are so important to us to a point where we can spend one hour praying just for ourselves oh lord give me this oh lord bless me this oh lord do me this stop praying that way stop looking at yourself stop putting value on the prayer order all about yourself start focusing on the needs of others do you know any friends seeking for the fruit of the womb and you are also in that same situation Turn that to be your prayer request. Turn that to be your prayer point. Turn that embrace the need of that particular brethren. Start praying for him. Is there any looking for a job and you are in the world looking for a job? Start engaging. Intercede. Intercede. This is one of the tools that God has put at our disposal to turn things around. We think that it's all about offerings and giving and all those stuff. No, there are certain keys that are lacking, but we haven't been taught that in the main uh, stream churches or in the charismatic world. You pray in tongues, great. You sow seed, great. But do you intercede for others? No, this is one of the tools that Job did. Job was a giver, yes. Abraham was a giver. Yes, they raised altars. Yes, they spoke right word. Yes, but why did these things not turn their situation around? But only when they interceded, there was instant change. This is a proof that each time you look up, you look after the need of others, you tend to focus on the challenges of your brethren, the challenges of your brothers, the challenges of a friend, and you start to ponder upon the prayer altar your life begins to turn around you tend to have double for that which you have lost the years the caterpillar has eaten the palmer worm the canker worm all those things become to fall in place good things open doors favor start to hit just by doing this simple thing intercede for all intercede pray for your friends stop praying all about let your prayer life not be all about you it should also look at the need of others pray for them with a loving heart let it be from the depth of your heart let it be genuine let it be from inside let it 
revitalize. Let it be mixed with salt. Let it be mixed with praise and worship. Bless them. Pray for them. If you have a challenge, look for someone who is in that same situation. Pass that along. Pray for them. Let it, the Bible says, let everything be done in orderliness. This is one of the one of the areas where God responds to our need instantly. You pray for the other person, but God answers you and he blesses you there and then. When Job prayed, the next verse says, And the Lord restored to him double that which he has lost. Today, you are in that predicament simply because you think more about yourself. When you start thinking of others, the giving habit comes in. When you start thinking about others, you become joyful. When you start thinking about others, you start to celebrate, you start to appreciate. This becomes a fertile ground where God operates instantly. He operates in a happy environment, in a joyful environment, in a loving environment. Because love does not keep strifes. Love does not keep records. Love does not... Love operates in a very, very simple and lovely way. As the name applies, love, it needs an environment that is full of love for love to operate. It is a law that we need to understand if we want to make mark on this planet Earth. Intercede for others. Pray for your friends. Be their, be each and idol, each, each and each. Be a keeper of your brethren. Carry his burden. Be, be that person that they can go to. Be that person that they can know that you are interceding for them. Because when you intercede for them, it will show bad in your life. You pray for them, but the result is in your life. The Bible did not record that. This is what happened in Job's life, but the Bible says when he prayed, the result was in the life of Job. The Lord blessed him double. The Lord restored to him double. Stop praying for yourself because each time you pray for yourself, you stop God from acting on your behalf. But you want instant miracle, instant blessing, you need to start interceding for others. Hope you found the content of this tape so blessed so nourishing subscribe like share and drop comments we will build this community together thank you as you do so god bless you